If your night sky is clear this weekend, try taking a look at Jupiter, our solar system's largest planet. Jupiter is in opposition on April 7th, meaning the planet is directly opposite in the sky from the Sun, and it's relatively close and bright. Jupiter is rising as the Sun sets, and setting as the Sun rises, so it's up all night long in the constellation Virgo, and depending on the time of night, you can view three or four of Jupiter's largest moons through binoculars or a small telescope. And if you want to know what Jupiter looks like through a big telescope, here's an image of Jupiter that NASA's Hubble Space Telescope took just a few days ago, on April 3rd, 2017. Hubble regularly takes observations of Jupiter as part of its Outer Planet Atmosphere's Legacy Program, or OPAL. That program has been able to observe movements in Jupiter's clouds to measure the speeds of Jupiter's winds, study color changes, and watch changes in the Great Red Spot, a huge storm on the planet. The Great Red Spot is larger than the size of Earth and has been shrinking over the past 100 years, becoming more and more round. The OPAL program makes global maps of Jupiter that can be rendered onto a spherical model. And the team will be working in the coming weeks on a new set of global maps of Jupiter from these latest observations. So this image that we've shown you is really just a preview of what's to come. But that's not the only way Hubble observes Jupiter. Hubble has been able to observe auroras on Jupiter in ultraviolet wavelengths with its Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph. And Hubble has been able to observe the greater Jovian system of Jupiter and its moons. It's taken images like this one of Callisto, Europa, and Io transiting across the disk of Jupiter. Hubble has observed Ganymede's auroras move in a way that suggests the moon has an underground saltwater ocean. And Hubble has seen evidence of water vapor plumes erupting from the surface of Europa. NASA uses Hubble observations of Jupiter to help guide its robotic planetary explorers. The global maps of Jupiter from the OPAL program provide context for the Juno spacecraft's up-close observations. And Hubble's evidence of water vapor plumes on Europa provides targets for the upcoming Europa Clipper mission. So, while you're looking at Jupiter in your own night sky, take a minute to celebrate the robots and spacecraft like the Hubble Space Telescope that are ever-expanding what we know about our solar system.